fucking, that gun goes fucking ballistic. That's a beautiful thing you got going on there. Alright, honey. Well, uh, I mean, you know, anything else? Any other fun facts that we'd be surprised to know about other than ballet? Uh, anything cool? How old's your mom? She is 65. 65. And who do you think is going to die first out of the two of you? <laughs> There's bets going on right now with the rest of the family. Yes. Really? Yeah. It's an above on? ground death pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> an above ground death pool. Do you ever go swimming, Nate? Do you ever go swimming? Uh, no. 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 You don't do it. You go floating? I mean, people have pushed me back into the water, but yeah. uh, you ever go sinking? <laughs> <laughs> you ever go sinking? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, Nate. Have you ever been rescued by Greenpeace? Once uh, yeah. by accident. <laughs> Feel better on that. You made the same joke, Nate. You already made the joke. <laughs> I love it. Uh, He's a pro. Nate's a pro. Yeah, you really are. It's incredible. 1999. So, uh, did you ever think about moving to like a big city? Did you ever think about moving to LA or New York or anything? I, I like thought that? about it. I just wanted to kind of work the road and work on my craft oh, first, and then I didn't want to have something to bring to the table and stuff. Just went out there. And I know you love whatever. taking things to a table. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Nate, I, I love it. I'm so glad. You know, one of the cool things about this show, I've always said this, is to me the mishmash of different people that sign up. So many first timers tonight, men out of nowhere, a home run hitter that's been in the game since '99, started in Boise is clearly ending his career in Boise, uh, and uh, I, uh, I, I, just think, uh, I just think it's awesome that you signed up for this show. I think it shows a great amount of respect for the show, and I think that in return we showed a great amount of respect to you. Unbelievable performance tonight, great jokes. One more time for Nate Ford, everybody. Did you guys have fun tonight, huh? That was a weird one, Tony. Well, there's one thing that I forgot to tell you at the top of the show that is really fucking cool, and that is that house artist Ryan J. Ebel drew official Kill Tony tour posters that are going to be for sale, being signed, and uh, delivered uh, right back there. If you want to make a, a regular uh, straight line, whoever wants one, there's also band posters, there's oh official Tony Hinchcliffe pins, there's official Death Squad glow-in-the-dark pins, from our friends over at the Great Rocket Pins. There's also Feminist Stacy, a few t-shirts still available, a uh, limited amount on those, and the tour posters, and the, all the posters. And uh, and we're gonna be back there uh, flying through, signing those for you. If you want a picture, if you want a handshake, we'll fly through it all over there. Just make a nice straight line. Hey guys, how about one more time for the great and powerful Doug Benson, huh? Yay. Come on! Motherfucking Doug Benson! For you! Come on, let's see how loud this place can get for the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, everybody! He fucking did it again, this guy! Jeremiah's got a new album coming out June 7th. It's available for pre-order now. The party at the Main Room Comedy Store is going to feature uh, Red Band, me, some other cool people. Everything's going to happen there at the Comedy Store the day before. But you can pre-order it now on iTunes. Follow him on YouTube at Jeremiah Watkins. And he's on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up. New episode of Jeremiah Wonders Out with Jason Tebow. And be on the lookout for some great road episodes coming up where we record episodes on the road. They're very Kill Tony-centric. All the Kill Tony fans will like a little uh, behind-the-scenes look at some of these upcoming Jeremiah Wonders episodes. How about one more time for Joel Joel Jimenez, everybody? We brought him for you. The real fucking deal. Joel Mostly sorry on social media. Anything else uh, from you, Joel This is his first time ever in Boise. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Ludwig. Uh, and we love you guys. Peace. We love Joel Bird. We love Ludwig. Everything's moving along smoothly. We're going to see you guys in the back for uh, posters and pictures and pins. I want another hand for the one, the only, the guy that rolls with me every single episode for almost six years, Brian Redman. Thanks a lot, guys. We love you, boys. We'll see you soon. Good night. Thank you.
Say it for me? I just want to make sure we get it right. Yeah. Give him a ball. <laughs> so anyway, let's get this thing going. And uh, so if you don't mind me asking you what's your, and telling everybody what's your real name. Uh, my real name is Jared Sapper. Say it again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So anyway, how long have you been so going up? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, actually said the same wow, question years. twice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Right
took uh, a couple years of conceptualization wow. to get to the point of making it a full circular uh, apparatus with that hollow ring on it. Uh, the drill itself could be done in a few days if I was if things were flowing. I'd Okay, I got you. Here, Nick, I've got a paper and a pen right here. All right. Figure it out and do that. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's talk about your other piece really quick right here. I'm not really quick, I'll take a time here. Your work is actually crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. How does this function work on this? So, what, it comes through here? Yeah, so it comes down the spout. Water or smoke comes out of the perk. Comes up the three out up tapes, uh, spins the water, drops the water through the triple no drain way, through a centralized <laughs> drain, uh, smoke goes out the neck. Wow. Uh, I really don't want you guys to check out this guy's work too because his pieces are really like big and like, bro, I don't know, I just like the way your yeah. piece is really big and really cool. It makes you feel like you really got something and yeah, the two of them are obviously very different type of aesthetic, but kind of in a similar circular motif. Like, I don't yeah, know. that drain component. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know, when I'm looking at your glass right now too, dude, I just feel like you put like a little, definitely a lot of thought in your soul into it for sure. Yeah, it's really cool. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the recyclers are extensively longer to make than the other design. How long did this one take you to make? Yeah over about seven days. Really? Wow, seven days. Yeah. Start to finish. There's a lot going on in the pattern work. Um, the section in the bottom is six layers. The well, first piece I've actually put a section like that into. And, wow, you're pretty psyched. Yeah, it took, yeah. <laughs> it took a lot of work. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard to see this lighting and all the people. Like, I, like really, when we're looking at it, I had no idea that it would take you seven days. That's amazing, actually. That's really cool. Let's see, who, who or what inspired you to blow glass? Uh, well, some friends initially. That's cool. Uh, but I mean, like, and I think the current inspiration has been drawn from you know, psychedelics that influenced pretty heavily some of the newer design work. That's awesome. Yeah, because um, we, were, we were kind of seeing some of that before. Yeah, so it's like uh, some Burning Man influence and some couple of adventures in the desert. and. That's all I've done. I've kind of found some inspiration out there, some really cool artwork and things to see. So, so I just want everybody to know when you tell me like psychedelics kind of brought all this design. But well, I just tell you that this artist is totally putting his soul into it here, and I think that's awesome, dude. And I, I can just tell by the, the perfection of your work, too, that your work's pretty spot on. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, man. So, did anybody else in your family blow glass? Uh, I am the only one. The only one. Yeah. Is anybody else in your family maybe any other kind of art? Uh, yeah, my father and I'm just trying to like figure out where the influences come from. Yeah, I, I come from like a, a music family. Oh, really? Which is all I just for Yeah, for sure. Are, are you into any other kind of art yourself? Uh, I enjoy lots of art, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sculptures, painting. You do all that, yeah. He does what? Sculptures yeah, and paintings. Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, like, when you say that to me, um, the guys that fucking inspired you up where they skateboarders do? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, skateboarders and snowboarders. So, let's see here. Uh, what's your favorite thing to make? I don't know if I have a favorite thing to make. Um, yeah, I like to make all sorts of stuff. So, oh, okay. So, how about this? Way? Out of everything you've made, what what was the most best thing that, like, maybe put like goosebumps? On, like, wow, I really chilled with this time. You know what I mean? That you were most satisfied or happy with. As far as solo pieces, I was yeah, pretty happy with both of these two that are on the right table here. That's um, sick. They both, you know, this is, uh, this is kind of a, kind of like the coup de grace of pulling the space solo together on the side player, and then the clear one's the first of that aesthetic that I made into a fully functional one. Cool. And you know what, and when you say that too, dude, like I've had like lab pieces and this and that, but uh, like I said before, I love having my solo artist pieces, so, 
Yeah. What kind of torch you got? Uh, and a DT team around. Okay. A lot of people have those and like them a lot. If you got any torch you wanted, though, what would it be? Uh, I think he's right now in his dead shape on the right. Like he, he, he. Oh, okay. So, basically the Mirage with the extra ring on it, and then still kind of in a relatively easy travel size. Yeah. So, a lot of people tell me that's like, oh, actually like a good torch for, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's like a, it's like a torch that you need that you really don't have to step up anymore, maybe, unless you're getting really crazy like going to you know but it's a pretty good all-around torch is what i guess i can yeah. get at uh, uh very versatile exactly yeah yeah let's see um if you could have any oh i already did that <laughs> Change. 